you the one who's trying to improve your current control settings? In this video, I will correct some of your understanding about configuring your controls and show you guys how and why I set my buttons in this unique way as a 5 finger claw pro player. If you are playing with less or more fingers, don't close the video yet as you can for sure be inspired and improve your controls when I explain mine. Now let's get into it. Firstly, I want to address some of the touch issues you may face when you are playing PUBG Mobile. There are lots of round buttons in the control settings, but these actually work as a square buttons. Let's see this example. This will bring you difficulty on pressing the correct buttons if you put them really close like this. We should either put them side by side if situation permits, or leave some gap in between them. If your phone screen sometimes goes unresponsive while you play, most likely you need to get a phone case with raised edges. It can effectively prevent your palm from touching the edge of the screen, which is the reason why for the unresponsiveness. One of the drawbacks would be your phone may overheat while playing with the case on, but you can always get a small desk fan to cool it down. There are so many buttons in the PUBG Mobile control settings, so overlapping some of these buttons are very important for easier muscle memory and also leave more space for your thumb to aim and move around. My prone button and the team info bar are overlap. It's easier for me to see my teammates status in matches compared with some of you put it on the sides. My crouch and exit button are also overlapped. You only see exit button when you sit in the car and see crouch button when you are out of it. By doing this way, you can exit the car and crouch immediately when you see enemies, as the vehicle can be a great cover, protecting you from the incoming shots. In addition, I put my map right on the in-game character. This is the most appropriate location for me. I mostly look at my crosshair while I play, not my in-game character. And I can check the map information quickly compared with putting the map on the edge. Knowing the map info is one of the most important aspects in competitive play. Plus, it can block your field of view if you put the map on the side. One more tip is that I place the scoping and the nade cancel button together. These two buttons won't show up at the same time, and it can give us more space to make the button size larger and greatly reduce the chance of misclick. Lastly, I place the open door button and the drive button all together, as they don't show up at the same time either. If you guys are looking for more idea about the overlapping buttons, make sure you join my